Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Josh. This is my 79 Corvette. And today I just wanted to briefly talk about five things that I absolutely love about this car. As you can, I guess you can say these are five of my favorite things about the car. And I want to deep dive on some of the weird quirks that this car has and why I love some of these things. First one that I want to talk about is the pop-up headlights. This was actually a determining factor on buying the car when I was looking at certain types of cars that I wanted to buy. The pop-up headlights were just the main attention grabber for me and I really like the look of them. They give the car a very fine line and it gives it a very stealth look at night. fun fact that I love about this car is the fact that this car came with standard t-tops now most days now you have a full panoramic sunroof on newer cars and everything but a four-year-old car was not as common and this became a trend throughout GM vehicles and some other vehicles they're also extremely easy to remove as you guys can tell they're not actually as heavy and they're actually extremely easy to put back And because it is a 40 year old car, some of these T-tops will have fitment issues, water leaks, which is something that these cars are prone to having. But, you know, seals and locks would keep them from getting stolen and keep the water from running inside the car. Another thing that I love about this car is the fact that this 40 year old car had a tilt telescope uh, steering wheel. And the reasons for that, I believe, could be because the only thing that you could move aside from that was the chair, forward and backward. But the backrest stayed as is. So you could drop it down or up, but the backrest will stay as it is. This would give you a perfect scenario in which you could sit comfortably without having to mess with the chair too much. Speaking of the chairs, these are 40 year old chairs. And the fact that they could fold to give you more space in the back for your battery, for your storage, which was in the back, as well as putting your T-tops. This was a great way to put your T-tops in the trunk. Not so crazy thing for me would be the fact that these chairs don't have a locking mechanism. So they just kind of swing back and forth as they please. Now, if you would get into an accident, the first thing that would fly to the front would be the chairs. And last but not least, this car actually came with power windows. It didn't come with power mirrors. I don't think that was a thing back then, but it did come with power windows. So both the passenger and the driver both go up and down uh, electronically, which I find that amazing for a 40 year old car where pretty much everything aside from the antenna and the windows was analog or mechanic even the headlights were mechanic uh, to have power windows was a, a a luxury sportiness thing on these cars and i absolutely love that about this car i know we've gone through all our five uh quirks and features that i love about this car but i wanted to give you guys a bonus one and that's pretty much the way the engine opens. So you pretty much unlatch it from the inside of the car and then there's two latches, one to the passenger and one to the driver. All you do is just pop your hood and there is the 350 engine in all its glory. And I love working on the car and having the engine open because it gives the car this very muscular, exotic look. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love this car so much. Now guys, with that being said, I wanted to thank you so much for being part of this video. This was such a fun video to make. It gave me a sense of appreciation. Not everyone gets to experience a 40 year old car the way I have. And for those reasons, I think this was an amazing video to make. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.